Today in our 2016 Acura MDX, we're going to review and install the Kirk Class 3 2-inch receiver tube hitch, part number C13146. Now here's what our hitch is going to look like once it's installed. As you can see, the hitch is completely hidden behind the rear fascia. This is a completely steel, fully welded constructed hitch. And it's got a really nice black powder coated finish to resist rust and corrosion. The only thing really exposed is our receiver tube. It's got our chain hole down on each side and a 5 base pin hole that goes all the way through the receiver tube. This is our class 3 2 inch by 2 inch receiver tube and it's capable of up to 900 pounds of tongue weight and a 6,000 pound towing capacity. Next we'll give you a couple measurements to assist you selecting accessories for your new hitch. From the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is three and a quarter inches. From the top of the receiver tube opening down to the ground is 14 inches. This will assist you with selecting accessories such as a ball mount, bike rack, or cargo carrier. We'll now go ahead and show you the minimum tools required for installing the hitch. We'll have our spray lubricant and nylon tube brush, 5A socket, ratchet, and torque wrench. Next we'll go ahead and show you just how easy it is to install the hitch. Now to begin our install, we're going to go ahead and lower and remove the spare tire. Open up the rear hatch, the rear cargo area. We'll remove the plug covering up the spare tire crank and use the manufacturer's tools to lower our spare tire. Alright, now let's go ahead and point out the attachment points. All right, now. As we point out the attachment points, keep in mind we've got a total of six attachment points, three on each side. These attachment points are weld nuts built into the bottom of the frame by the manufacturer. Now each process we do here on one side is going to get repeated identically on the opposite side. Now before we attempt to install the new hardware, we're going to want to clean out the weld nuts because over time they're going to build rust, dust, dirt and debris and can make it difficult to install the new fasteners. So we'll go ahead and spray each one with a spray lubricant then use our half inch nylon tube brush, part number 814092. We'll thoroughly clean out the weld nut. And then I recommend to take one of the new fasteners, thread it into the weld nut to make sure it'll go nice and easily. Now that we know our weld nut's cleaned out, we'll go ahead and repeat the same process for the other five. To secure the hitch, we're going to use the new 14 millimeter bolt and 916 conical tooth washer. The teeth of the washer will face the hitch as it will go through the hitch attachment point and into the weld nut. Now as we go to put our hitch in place, it's a good idea to get an extra set of hands to help you hold the hitch while you install the fastener. Now as we install our fasteners, we'll install each one finger tight until we have them all in place. Now once we have all our fasteners installed, we'll go ahead and tighten them down. Now with all our fasteners tightened down, we'll go ahead and torque the specifications as indicated instructions. All right, now with our hitch installed, let's go ahead and put the spare tire back. Now with the hitch installed, tightened down and torque specifications, we're ready to hit the road. And that'll do it for our review and install of the Curt Class 3 2-inch receiver tube hitch, part number C13146 on our 2016 Acura MDX.